Skin Rim for the weekend. And this is one of our favorite places to camp. It's off of a 2,000 foot cliff. Galena's got a bridal shoot up there uh, that the client's gonna meet us at our campsite, which is cool because we'll be able to just set up. Uh, and then tomorrow night, Saturday, or evening, they'll meet up with us so she can knock the session out. They're bringing their dogs and that's very exciting. just arrived here in Coconino National Forest on the Mogollon Rim. This is one of our favorite areas to camp. So we've got the trailer set up. Still haven't got fully set up. We're just kind of enjoying the cooler temperatures up here. It's about 79 degrees today, which is much better than 108 down in the valley. Here is the edge of the rim and it just goes down further and further. We've got some other spots that we've camped in the past and we were going to try to get some of those, but they were already taken. It closed a lot of the roads in the area uh, to protect resources. Uh, and so we feel lucky to have gotten one of the more secluded spots that still has access. We found a group of mushrooms here. I've been inspired by Skyways the Highways hiker channel. I've wanted to learn about foraging, but it's uh, pretty cool to see. Definitely have had some rain, so there's uh, some different stuff growing out here. Found another little mushroom, a little red one. We do have service here, so we'll have to check out, see what we can find out about them. Well, right as we were hiking out that way, someone else pulled up. Some other people across the way here. That was uh, one of our usual camp lots, so we had to kind of figure out a different place to go. Things are getting a little more crowded than we've seen it up here. As you can see, it's just absolutely beautiful up here. One of the most unique areas to be able to disperse camp, have some space, and just enjoy the wilderness. So Glenna wants to go back this way a little bit just to check out her options for doing her engagement shoot tomorrow. Obviously a lot of it will be on the edge of the rim, but Definitely some forest pictures as well. Got a really cool area with some backlighting. As we were hiking around, we saw this clearing and it looks like we're gonna have a great view just over this hill. Oh, it's the road. <laughs> Wow, it's just crazy. Huge view right here. This is just one campsite up from us. Someone built just an unbelievably huge burn pit or something. I can't even comprehend how much work. <laughs> Lana says it's a mausoleum, kind of a raised fire pit.
and that one. I mean, this one's huge as well. That's a dog for scale. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just two huge fire pits. Pop pups. Got our campsite back over here. I'm just walking along the edge of the rim to get back to it. It's getting close to sunset, so I'm gonna get the drone out soon. Should be a great evening to fly. Dogs got tired pretty quick today, which is nice. Aspen's sleeping down here. Glenna's just doing some color swatching with her markers so that she knows what color they are. We've got a nice sunrise this morning. Woody is laying down eating breakfast. Now we're watching the sunrise, and then we'll probably get a little more sleep. So a little information about the Mogollon Rim is it's 200 miles long and starts at the Arizona-New Mexico border and then runs east all the way to about Sedona. That's when things kind of taper off. We're close to 8,000 feet in elevation up at the top here and then Payson, which is down that way, is about 4,500 feet. So pretty substantial elevation gain. So I was reading up a little bit about it and a majority of these rocks are limestone and sandstone and then erosion over millions of years have created the canyons and formed this. Just going out for a morning walk. One of the things we like about the Arizona forests are there's not a ton of uh, undergrowth, underbrush, and uh, so it's really easy to just be able to look somewhere and just start walking and uh, just kind of explore the area. Got some more little mushrooms. Glenna found some cool rocks, and some of them look uh, to have kind of a geode-like uh, going on, so we're just breaking some of them open. Show that one. I don't know if it'll focus very good, but yeah, pretty cool. Our solar is doing real good today with our clear blue skies. I believe... We're at a, yeah, 13.5 on the charge. Obviously that'll drop down once the solar's unplugged 
and the uh, voltage normalizes to typical uh, 12 volt battery. 12.8 is about what you typically expect for fully charged. We got a little time to kill before my photo shoot, so we're just gonna go up this hill a little bit and look for some crystals. Never done that before, but it sounds fun. We found a spot we're gonna start digging at. One of them was just using the rock as a hammer and then it cracked open and has a, quite a large cavity, almost kind of a sand-like texture inside. We had no success finding crystals. Um, I think there's probably a bit more research we need to do on that, but Glenna found a few more larger, interesting rocks that she wants to crack open. Got, yeah, a lot of sparkly here. Just doing some grilled cheese for dinner tonight. Lena's got her bridal shoot going on. They just went back in the woods somewhere. Not really sure where. Just hanging out, keeping the dogs in the trailer for now. Lydia's been very tired. And Aspen still wants out. Beautiful sunset already starting. Not many clouds to light up tonight. Probably get some color over there. I'm going to wrap up her session and we're just kind of hanging out around the fire now. We're going to try to get, we've been, every trip recently, we've been trying to do a good star picture with the hiker trailer in it for the hiker trailer photo contest. Finished up on the trailer pictures. And now we're trying some pictures, some other stars. Got a geocache that it says it's up here. We've let the dogs out and we've been here before with them, but with us being distracted, trying to find a geocache, it was not worth having them out. This one is just sheer drop all the way on all sides of this little peninsula. I'm thinking it's gotta be in this little tree area. It's uh pretty much dead on. This one's kind of sketchy. It said no climbing. I mean, that is right off a cliff. I guess you technically wouldn't have to climb. You want to try to get it from there? Where is it? In this hole. Wow, last found in uh, October 21, so almost a year. Yeah, someone was here 722 and they didn't find it. Uh, all right, we're gonna head to the next geocache on our list. And it's up just past Hell Springs Campground on the way back to 260 to uh, get back to Phoenix.
we're passing Kell Springs Campground, which is a great place if you're more into the campground thing. It's still a primitive campground. It just has fire rings, picnic tables, no bathrooms right there. It's got a pit toilet, and uh, I think it runs maybe about 10 bucks a night to camp. So we went ahead and found a place to pull over for another geocache just past Kell Springs. And I uh, got a cool tree over here too. We're gonna uh, walk over and film once we find this geocache. The west side of the rim road here just has all these cool ferns all the way throughout. It's just really beautiful. We found another one. Ooh, careful. Here with this log. And just sign on the log real quick. And Aspen has brought us, it's really a log, not a stick, but gotta have at least one Aspen chewing the stick shot. Also need a uh, Lydia tearing grass slash digging shot as well. So our last one was there. And then the next one is uh, 0.2 miles, just kind of straight down this way. Got more mushrooms, it's tons of mushrooms. And I am now even more inspired. I need to get a good book on identification. All right, so it says 25 feet. So this one GPS is not accurate, but found a found an ammo can style one under these logs. So this is the tree we saw, and it just looks really cool. Got this huge mass there, and then pretty dang tall as well. Just getting a little air back in the trailer tires. I only aired those down. Uh, it's a pretty decent road on Rim Road. And uh, Glenn is out finding her last geocache while I get aired up, and then we'll be on our way. Had a really great trip. We definitely enjoy getting out, especially at her summer season. Um, you know, once we hit fall, uh, she's booked pretty solid with weddings. And so I'll do some solo camping. So it's nice when we can take that time to get up north out of the heat and she can knock some work out while we have a nice camping trip.